Hello, I'm Holly Urbain. Welcome to another Siler Instrument Quick Tip. A user of ours asked how they can combine conventional cross-section data and scan data. On this example, this is a, an example that I had available, but basically they want to be able to cross-section outside the limits of the road with the uh, conventional, either GPS or total stations, and then use the scan data to pick points in the heavy traffic areas. So using the point cloud tools within Trimble Business Center, you can see I automatically extracted the flow line curb and gutter. That's under the extract line features in the ribbon uh, for the point clouds. But there's another tool in here, in here called the cutting plane tool. So we can go into the plane manager first and define a plane, or we can go directly into the cutting plane tool. So if I do the cutting plane view, Over here you can see we don't have any views to select from, so I'm going to make a new plane. And I'm going to name this plane for cross-sections. And what we're going to do is we're going to toggle the option from a linear path. And for the path we're going to select the center line alignment. So it's hard to see, but there is actually a cross-section right at station zero. There's a tool within the cutting plane tool to use subplanes. So we can say we want to do cross sections every 50 feet along this subplane. And then I'm going to hit close. So we've just defined these cutting planes at the 50 foot intervals. So as we're going along, let me zoom in a little bit here. Down across the bottom of the cutting plane view, I can cut up to station 50. I can go to station 1. And if we zoom in, if the survey crew was within tolerance on a cross section, the shots that they took are going to show up on the screen. Right now, think of this as a pane of glass. This is a two foot thick pane of glass dropped through the point cloud. If I cut it down to a foot, zoom in, you can see the survey crew was still square to station one. If I drop it down to a pretty small number, you can see there's only a few points like the top of curb and this sidewalk that are within exactly a tenth of being square to station one. But if you come up with a, again, half a foot, probably good enough to be online for a cross section. But you can see the survey crew took their shots, but they don't have the flow line or the flag of the curb because that was in traffic. If I zoom in, what I can do, you can obviously see where the flag and the flow line are. I'm going to go to the CAD tab and hit the create a point option. I'm going to use the next available point number. I'm going to say this is a flow line shot. And then for the coordinates, I can just snap on this location or there's the cloud picker tool. So if I use the cloud picker tool and I say I'm selecting a gutter, when I snap generally in this location, the tool is going to gravitate to the flow line area. I can move it reinspect it, get to exactly where I think it should be, hit validate, and it's going to um, grab a northing, easting, and elevation for that point right on the cross section. I'm going to hit add, and then I'm going to go up here to the next station, get the, this won't be a cloud picker tool, this will be a flag. Again, I'm just going to digitize that location. I'm going to hit add. And you can see now we have the flag on this side, and I can continue on the other side. At any time, you don't have to be stuck with these subplanes as you have selected. All of a sudden you come up on a sidewalk or an inlet, you can either type in a number, or I can just drop the cursor in the station field and say here I have a sidewalk. I can just digitize, and it will cut a plane right through that area where the sidewalk exists. And it tells me it's at station 26. So we set up the cutting plane views for every 50 feet. We can insert them by typing in a particular number, or we can use the snapping tool to cut a plane through anywhere we want to. Thanks, that's another Siler Instrument quick tip.